Oh yeah, you're okay. So this is proof. Um, why do I think it's probably the wrong proof? Just uh, different to what I've got. Hmm. Let's see if it's the same. Yeah, it seems to be starting out the same. The front page might be different to yours, or it might be the same as yours. Anyway, my front page looks slightly different. Uh, right, so there's some. <coughs> Ooh, right then, so there's some stuff that you should have done at GCSE, chances are you didn't bother doing it because the teacher would have thought, I'm not teaching that, I can have the proper exam, which we did check. So anyway, so we, uh, GCSE potentially did something which was proved by direct argument, which is also known as proof by deduction. Uh, we'll just do some algebra and hopefully get to the right answer. Um, so it tells you you've got to try and use full sentences, explain how it goes. Uh, so an R mark is for a full rigorous argument. Right. <laughs> right then. Things you're supposed to know, things that make sense, is that an even number times by an even number is even. An odd number times by an odd number is odd. And an even number times by an odd number is even. An even number is shown as two lots of any other integer. Now, this is all working with integers work. Uh, an odd number is 2n, an even, plus or minus 1. So it tends to go with 2n plus 1. Consecutive means that they have the same letter. That's not mentioned really, it's that simple. So if you have two consecutive numbers, you think about any two numbers that are next to each other, four and five, one will be even and one will be odd. One will be a multiple of two, the other one will be odd. If you think of three consecutive numbers, say you've got three, four and five, at least one of them, or one in this case, could be an even, and another one will be a factor of three. So it's more than, like, with the two consecutive numbers, it's more than an even. It's a factor of two. Oh, multiple of two, sorry. And whereas if it's three consecutive numbers, there's an even, at least one even, because if you have four, five, six, that's got two evens, and a multiple of three. Yeah. So if you have five consecutive numbers, oh, we've got loads going on there. Oh. <laughs> How are you supposed to do this on your own? It's so silly. Right, let's have a go. So if 2n is always even for all positive integer values of n, prove algebraically that the sum of squares of any two consecutive even numbers is a multiple of 4. Sum of squares of any two consecutive even numbers. Okay. Right, so let's define something then. So my two consecutive... Even numbers are going to be 2n, maybe 2n plus 2. So if n was 1, it gives you 2 and it gives you 4. Now I want the sum of squares. So that means I square them and then I add them. So that's going to be 4n squared, that's going to be 4n squared plus 8n plus 4. So I've got 8n squared plus 8n plus 4. If I have to show it's a multiple of 4, I want it 4 lots of something. So. so because the 4 can be taken out, it's going to be a multiple of 4. So as a multiple of four, comma, the sum of squares of two consecutive even numbers. Multiple four. 
We'll do one more example of this. Got these lines to here. So it says here that prove that n plus 1 squared minus n minus 1 squared plus 1 is always odd for all positive integers. Right. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at what we've got. n plus 1 squared and minus 1 squared plus 1. So if it's odd, I want it as two lots of something plus 1. So n squared plus 2n plus 1 minus n squared minus 2n plus 1 plus 1. n squared is 12. I hope I expand my back. So the n squareds go, I've got 4n, then 1s go, plus 1. I can write it as 2 lots of something plus 1. Because it's in that format, it's an odd number. So when we have shown that, so as correct format or an odd number, n plus one squared minus n minus one squared plus one is always odd. I'm going to stop there. I'm going to leave it for now.